Hey there, it's almost annual enrollment time. Remember, annual enrollment for Medicare Advantage, which is Medicare Part C, and Medicare Part D, which is your prescription drug plans, is every year from October 15th to December 7th. So even though we're not quite there yet, you can actually preview the plans for 2022 on Medicare.gov, that's Medicare.gov. And since we're almost in the annual enrollment period at iHealth Brokers, we wanted to make you aware of some changes coming to Medicare Advantage and Medicare Part D this year. So stay tuned. Hi there and welcome back. My name is Sarah and I'm here today with iHealth Brokers to give you the latest in Medicare news. So as I said before, we are currently approaching the annual enrollment period, or if you're watching this video, we may already be in the annual enrollment period. We're talking about from Medicare Advantage, which is Part C, and Medicare Part D, which are prescription drug plans. Medicare, Original Medicare, Part A and Part B will come January. So right now we're talking about the annual enrollment period for your optional parts of Medicare. So there are some changes that you need to be aware of this year, and we're going to go over them in today's video. Just as a reminder, please make sure to like this video, subscribe as well to stay up to date on all things Medicare, because we do release these videos on a weekly basis. And of course, make sure to check us out on Facebook and TikTok and Instagram and Twitter. Everywhere you social media, you can find us at iHealth Brokers. And of course, feel free to reach us in the comments or give us a call here at iHealth Brokers at 888 888- Four one zero zero three four four. There's absolutely no charge for our services. Medicare is confusing, but we try to make health insurance as simple as possible. All right, so let's talk about some of the changes coming to Medicare this year. First and foremost, let's talk about those monthly premiums. So there will be a slight change in the average monthly premiums as there are pretty much about every year. This year, it's going to be minimal. So Medicare Advantage plans will go down on average about $2 per month and Medicare Part D plans will go up on average about $2 a month. So not that big of a difference, but something to be aware of. Now, the reason for the average rate decrease in Medicare Advantage plans is that it's estimated that about two and a half million more people will enroll in Medicare Advantage plans this year as opposed to last year. Also, there will be many more Medicare Advantage plans available. More choices is better for you. Additionally, there will be an increase in the availability of DSNPs, which are dual eligibility special needs plans. These plans are Medicare Advantage plans designed for those who are eligible for Medicare and Medicaid. Make sure to check out our video all about DSNPs to learn more. Also, on the Part D front, there will be more than 2,100 models available for the Senior Savings Model, which provides senior citizens with affordable access to insulin. So if you take insulin to manage your diabetes, this is excellent news for you. Now, even though we're not in the annual enrollment period just yet, the plans are available for preview on Medicare.gov, that's Medicare.gov. And if you're planning on using a broker, we recommend that you make your appointment now because those appointment slots do tend to fill up. And if you'd like our help, you can reach us at iHealth Brokers at 888 410 We are licensed nationwide with over 200 carriers. And as I said earlier, there is absolutely no charge for our services. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.